Hello and welcome to Document Management Permanent Documents. The Permanent Documents section can be located by first going to the File Information, Contact Information section, and this button, Permanent Documents. I left click, that'll take me into the Permanent Documents page. And what documents are normally found here are Social Security cards, driver's license, anything that's going to be go forward with the client. So it's not year specific. <clears throat> it's something that you'd want to have in the file year after year after year, such as ID and social security card. Also what's contained on this page uh, when we retrieve documents from the client portal. So as a client send us documents, say W-2s, 1099s, when they upload it, it all gets uploaded into the permanent documents page for that client file. From there, you then will then move it to the appropriate year and appropriate business type, which I will demonstrate. So to begin with, we have three files that were sent to us from the client, and they're identified by upload type. They'll, they'll be classified as client uploads, and then they will type a description. So it's all coming from the client. So in this case, I have a mortgage statement, a W-2, and their business X-Tax P&L statement, profit and loss statement. Um, so this individual, Barbara Armstrong, over here in the upper right, she's sending both her individuals and her business information through here. And then from here, we then have to move it to the appropriate place. So the mortgage statement and W-2, and right now I'm just assuming it's for tax year 2014. I'm going to move those to her individual account documents for 2014. So account documents is where we store <clears throat> documents that are year specific. So in this case, it's 2014. I wanted everything to go into 2014. So right down here, you see move to account year. And in her case, there's actually multiple business types. She has bookkeeping and she has tax preparation. I'm gonna move it just to the tax preparation 2014. I'm gonna select these two items the mortgage statement at W-2, and then I'm gonna hit go. So now they've just been moved from her permanent documents and I've put them in the appropriate place, which is her tax year 2014 for business type tax preparation. Now, if I wanna go there to make sure they actually got moved, I would select the account documents, select the appropriate year 2014 tax preparation, and here are the two files I just moved. So I'm going to go now go back to her permanent documents page. And now the only thing I have left remaining is her profit and loss statement for her business account X tax. So now I move over to here where it says move to link client account documents. So I've linked her business X tax with her individual file. And I can see that over here in the upper right hand corner, Barbara Armstrong. And then this last four, these are the last four of her social. And now I can switch it over actually to X-Tax, which would be the last four of x -tax EIN number. But I've linked these two together. And to do that, uh, you have to refer to the training video on linked clients that are found under within the client file. So I'm not going to go over how to link it. But this is once it's linked, you can then switch back and forth. So now I'm going to move. Her P&L statement, and this is for 2014. Now I'm going to now move this to X tax tax preparation 2014, and I hit go. Now to get there, I'd switch it over to X tax. I switch to the account documents, and there it is right there. It's going to default to 2014, my latest year. And that's what I just moved. So basically what the client what the client is going to do is they're going to upload the documents to you through the portal. That's secure. It comes in here on the permanent documents, kind of like a staging area. And then you then will move it to the appropriate place. So the client on the, from the portal isn't required to determine what year is it for, what business type is it for. We thought that might be too confusing for them. So it's just going to go right into their client permanent documents and then I will then move it to the appropriate place. 
Okay, so that's how we handle client uploads coming through the portal. Now I'm going to show you when we actually store documents here, which would be IDs or social security cards typically. I mean, you can put anything you want in here. I would just strongly recommend not lumping everything in here. Otherwise, it's going to go forward every single year and it's going to get very large and clustered and not very, it's not going to be well organized. You can use the year if you want to try to do something like that and put the year in there to try to stay organized, but I strongly recommend against that. I would just put it in the appropriate year within the account documents. But let me go ahead and um, typically we'd scan an ID, then I go locate it, and I have a file named ID here. So say this is a taxpayer social security, or I mean driver's license. I'll then select upload type, ID taxpayer. I'm not concerned with the year or description. I've already identified it. Expiration date, 2016. And this other far column here, file access, either full access or limited. What that is, that's if you want to give the client access to this document on the portal. Typically, we're doing that in the account document section, not necessarily in the permanent documents, but you do have the ability to do that. Say if the client lost their ID, wanted to have access to it, this is how you could give them access to it. I just could select full access. Now they can access it on their portal. And I save it. Now that's out there. And um, the ID is linked throughout the software say in the office event check pickup, the office event lobby, and I'm going to refer you to those training videos to get a better understanding of that. Uh, if I want to do social security card, same way I'd scan it in. I'm going to go grab a file, upload type social security cards, and you can customize these upload types. This is all done in admin, client setup under the upload type to whatever would fit your office. The ID, taxpayer, and social security card, I believe are defaulted there. And from there, I just save it. And that's pretty much it. So this is how you would just upload documents, which documents you'd wanna put in your permanent documents. And I also showed you how to move files that are sent to you from the client portal from the client. Thank you.